So recently I found out about the Amazon four star store, a real physical store where Amazon sells only the top selling best reviewed products. Let's just say that I hope we didn't get scammed because we bought a whole lot of stuff. I have seen full grown people fighting over this item. This was the quickest thing I put in my basket. This is magic mixes. It's like a DIY potion kind of thing. If you have a TikTok account, you have seen this. This is supposed to be for children, but every single time that I see people playing with this, it's just adults. If you ask me what it does, I have no idea. I just know this is supposed to be fun. This costs like a hundred dollars. It better be real witchcraft. I better win the lottery by the time that I finish mixing my potion. You create a pet? If you guys know what my dog looks like, the creatures on the box, that's what my dog looks like. If you know Salem, you know exactly what I mean. It looks exactly like this. Why is it always so difficult to open these things? This is more difficult to assemble than Ikea furniture. Give me my wand, Harry Potter going to all the vendors. So this is the wand. Does he do something? I think I just baptized my cauldron. So this is it, this is the full product. Inside you got this. We got potion making kits. It says stop for parents and supervisors. Please turn over. Me as a parent. If a toy could potentially kill you, you would never survive school. We're doing you a favor. It's got a USB cable. I guess we gotta read the instructions. There's no way around it. But I think the whole point of this, it's a potion that creates a pet. We're going to materialize a pet. We're doing the create mode, which I think is the classic way to create a pet. Oh my God, please don't get bigger. Not bigger. Please tell me that was it. I was really having troubles trying to figure this out, so I did what any normal person would do. I literally watched an eight-year-old child teaching me how to use this on YouTube. I don't think we need to tap it yet. I think I need to add water to it, which adding water to something that I fully charged for two hours that I probably didn't even need to. I really hope this is not broken and it's working. Please don't be broken. I swear he made sounds on YouTube. <laughs> and now we mix. Is it changing color? Wow, I really wish I wasn't colorblind. If you want to follow instructions, get a job at Subway. Oh, the white light, what does that mean? Oh, we are way behind. I haven't even opened this. This is why I would suck at working at Subway. I would be asking if you want olives without asking you what bread. Oh, there was instructions in here. Okay, well you need to stop because this is like too advanced for me. You know when people go on that TV show, are you smarter than a fifth grader? I don't have to go on it. I'm well aware. We're gonna have to restart this because stir in number two. Oh my God, it's sizzling. This doesn't do anything. I wanna believe. So now we want to add number three. This is our glimmer star. It's literally a star, so we're gonna add that in. Drop in the magic feather, so that's number four. And we're gonna add that as the next step. Oh, there we go. When you hear the tap tap, it's time for the next one. How do they know? Listen for the tap tap and then add number five. <gasps> Guys, I don't have time to show you. I just gotta add. Okay, that looks a lot better now. I'm gonna have to show you guys. I'm not sure if this stuff is actually dissolving, but it does look a little better. I kinda need to break this down. I think this was supposed to dissolve a long time ago. Oh, uh, number six. <gasps> I did add it. This is giving me like smoothie at Whole Foods kind of vibes. I love to look at it and I'm not sure if I wanna drink it. The only thing left is number seven. Oh, we're supposed to name our pet? I'm just gonna add it. I didn't name it. I feel like it's too late at this point. Is that it? I think we finished the spell. That was honestly the most stressful thing I have ever done. Why is he sizzling? Um, what have I done? Did I burn something? Oh my god, this is... It's kind of everything. What does it smell like? Can we inhale this? 
smells like burnt. It smells like microchip cotton candy. Are they aware that I live in an apartment with fire alarm? Because this is getting kind of crazy in here. Oh my god, it's ready though. Like, there was a liquid in here! <gasps> this is so scary. What do I feel like? It smells like burned in here. How do I get it out? I'm like, this is some hostage situation. I am calling child services. Oh wait, you're supposed to spin it. <laughs> it's an angel! <laughs> This was the craziest experience that I've ever had in my life. This is blank, guys. I felt every possible emotion. I think this is what it's like to be a parent. I was just gonna say, where did that water come from? And how do I play with this again? <laughs> just asking for a friend. If I wanted to do this again, where's the rest of the ingredients? It was expensive. I would normally not agree with spending this much money on something that you possibly can only enjoy once. But who cares? The experience, I can't think of anything else in life that would give you the roller coaster of emotions that I've just experienced. This is, I felt that. Easiest five I've ever given. This is a gift from heaven. My coffee machine is actually broken right now. So I saw this and it took two seconds before it was in my basket. So this is called an AeroPress and it's basically a way to make coffee in about a minute. And this is supposed to be the only way to make coffee that it removes the bitterness and it will taste smoother yet richer. That's how we all try to be. I think this is one of those products that people base their whole personality around it. It's like one of those things that it becomes like a cult. So it seems to be like really highly reviewed. So this is one of those, that, this is probably straight up five stars. I will be the judge of this. I'm not saying that my coffee taste is the best. I also wouldn't say that my coffee taste is pedestrian. It's kind of in the middle. So here's, there's literally a hair stuck to it. Why does this always happen to me? Ugh. Do you guys see that? And there's more hair stuck to it. This is great. When someone asks me how I like my coffee, preferably shaved. It's actually not a whole lot and it comes with this little coffee filters, so I guess you're gonna need to replace these, so that's an additional cost, but there's about five million in here. I think I'm gonna die before I get to use all these coffee filters. I'm not saying that my days are counted, but my days are counted. I guess we could come up with like different uses for it. The steps are so simple that I'm feeling brave and I'm gonna read them in Spanish. Never mind. First of all, we're gonna push plunger out of the chamber. Put the filter in the filter cap, so this is the filter cap, and we're gonna put the filter, one of the paper filters in it. Twist the filter cap into the chamber, so in here. Surprisingly easy to follow. So, we're gonna put this in here. I think we might need to get rid of this glass thing, because this might break. They actually give you a scoop with the perfect measurement. I don't wanna have to weigh things every day, so we're gonna put the scoop. Okay, we're gonna shake this to level the coffee pretty leveled. So we can add two different types of water, one for hot brewing and the other one if you want a cold brew. I think I'm gonna make a cold brew. So another thing that matters is how much water we're gonna be adding and this is, I think it's on the box. I'm gonna fill it up to the three to make like a latte kind of thing. Um, I feel like that should not be dripping like that yet. If you're making a hot coffee, you need to wait 10 seconds. If you're making a cold brew, you need to stir it for one minute, so for about one minute. I feel like the coffee's already coming out though. I'm so confused. This is gonna be the weakest coffee ever. It kinda smells like a coffee shop in my house. I think it's been around one minute. Ooh, this is gonna be the really satisfying part. So this is the moment that we've been waiting for. Am I doing this correctly? Wait, this is, it's not going down though. Am I doing this correctly? It says stop when you feel resistance. All I feel is resistance. Also me when I read the YouTube comments on my videos. Literally pressing into air, like there's nothing in here, it's empty. That's why it's called an AeroPress. It's definitely making a sound. The smell of coffee is intensifying. That's basically it. This is about 
the weakest coffee I've ever seen. I mean, it is supposed to be a cold brew, even for cold brew standards. Am I crazy for thinking this is a very light coffee? I can literally see through it. How many fingers am I holding? Three. Oh wait, I'm the one holding the fingers. I mean, it actually doesn't taste that weak. It just tastes like regular cold brew. The process was so simple. It was almost underwhelming, but it, it does deliver. I thought to make cold brew, you'd have to leave it overnight, but I guess not. This is good. <laughs> This was really easy. I'm, I am 100% using this tomorrow morning. To me, this is an easy five stars. I would actually rate this five stars because of how simple and it truly didn't make a mess. Like there's not a single drop of coffee or anything anywhere. Let's address the elephant in the room. You may be wondering why. A combination of two things. First of all, I have never in my life ever had a pedicure. I don't even know what it feels like. Second of all, this was surprisingly cheap. I think this cost like 25 pounds it's a lot but considering the volume of this also isn't revlon like a good brand i don't know exactly what they do but it sounds french it has to be good if this goes anything like the last time i tried to give myself a foot massage <gasps> it's not gonna go well one of the features is that it's waterproof It's basically a bucket, so I kind of understand the budget. It's just, it's a plastic bucket. My dog would love this. This is basically a hot tub for my dog. Follow me on TikTok if you want to watch that. I love this already. This seems like something that I need in my life. It's stressful to be me. How can they afford all these individual packagings? How can they afford all of this? This is a nail filing tool, which honestly, my feet are giving Quasimodo at the moment. They're giving blue cheese. Quasimodo blue cheese would be a great name for a drag queen. It's electric plugged, which we prefer because I honestly hate charging batteries. It comes with all of these tools. Where am I gonna put? That is not going near my feet. <gasps> oh my God, I've always seen people wear these in movies. Oh, it doesn't fit. This is a dream come true. It comes with a lot of stuff. So I think if you're really into Feet, not feet, just... <laughs> oh my god, this is really good. There's a lot to file in here. We're gonna need protective glasses in here. <laughs> the dust is gonna be everywhere. Okay, so we basically gotta warm up the water before. It doesn't heat up the water, but we'll kind of keep it warm for you. So this is honestly for the price. Refreshing bubbles in the water, caress the feet gently and massage the skin. 10 minutes daily is sufficient to feel refreshed. The length of the massage and the frequency of use can be increased if necessary. You don't need to add any product because it creates the bubbles on its own. I think you can put this little thing in here. It's kind of like an exfoliating kind of like stone texture. I fill this bottle with like room temperature water. Oh, there's supposed to be like a line. Oh, there's like a black dot in there. Oh, what is that? Okay. Ah. Ew! There's like an insect. I need to show you guys. There's like a little thing there. I know it doesn't seem like it's a bug, but it's a bug because look what happens when I try to touch it. Look at this. Oh my god. Is it like a parasite? Don't parasites enter your body through your feet? Like, why does he move away from me? Look. How am I gonna get it out? Like, this is so weird. Ew, I don't want to touch it. And that's the story on how I got tapeworm. And this is boiling hot water. So this should, I should have started with this one just to kill anything. It's plugged in. So should I switch it on first or should I test if I'm not going to be electrified? Wait. I'm overwhelmed. I need to put my feet in first and get used to the water because like this is a lot. Oh, it's too hot. Huh? I'm gonna need to add some more water. No, 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 that's, that's way too much. Okay. This is incredible. This is life-changing, incredible. That's the only words I can possibly use to describe this experience that I'm having. Oh my God, this is boiling hot. This is so dangerous. We're not gonna talk about that, whatever that is. That is literal dirt for my feet. I think this is bubbles for the bath. I'm not entirely sure. Wow, this is bougie. I just want a little bit of like a more luxurious 
feet spa experience. The basics are here. This does work. Like, it feels good. It needs something, though. It needs the scent. I don't want to ruin this. I know this is powerful, so I'm going to use just a little bit at a time. I'm kind of looking at it through the phone. This is very confusing. Is that, like, a lot? Oh, it smells nice, but nothing is happening. I can't believe they didn't say anything about this in the instructions. I love every second of this. It's kind of becoming like a lot now. I don't want to be dramatic, but this is like becoming a lot here. Feeling is so good though that you kind of forget about it. I don't know if this was the best idea that we've ever had. Maybe adding the bubbles wasn't necessary and that was definitely not part of the instruction. So we kind of messed up there. That's why I kind of spilled a little bit and it made kind of a mess. To me, this product is a 4.5 out of 5. Taking into consideration the price, this made me feel things on my feet that I, I've never felt before. If you love board games, please don't think that I would ever leave you hanging. Apparently this is the best of the best of the best. It literally says on the bag that Amazon has to offer for board games. This is Pictionary Air. Now you can play on your phone, tablet, and TV. I love technology. If you've been to my channel, you know. Have we gone too far when Pictionary is now played on a TV? It could be that this is really cool. I honestly think for something that comes with an actual gadget, like a physical gadget. I didn't think it was too expensive. I tried to take the prices into consideration. When you spend $20 on something, or when you spend $200 on something, it's two entirely different set of expectations. I swear, if I have to charge this for 90 minutes, okay. Not me tapping three times to make this work. It comes with batteries. Wait, is it working already? No, you have to unscrew it. This pair of scissors, uh, five stars. That's the true winner of this whole thing. It has been multi-purposeful throughout the video. So I'm gonna put the batteries in and I sh I think you need like a team to do this, but obviously I'm gonna draw one and maybe connect it to my phone. I think that might be the best way. So this is the app that we're gonna be using to set this up and hopefully I don't have to make an account. That would be the only way this would get annoying really quickly. Is it green? I think it goes green when you're when you press, oh my God, no, this is incredible. You know what? Life will never be the same. I already know. This is really cool. Can I switch camera? This is horrifying. I think this will work a little bit better if we actually set it up. I'm gonna pick a card and you guys are going to guess what the word is in the comment section. Pause the video and comment down below what do you think my drawing is before the time runs out. I'm gonna shuffle, I'm honestly not seeing anything. Can't show it to you guys. Oh my God, no. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. So I didn't choose Gandalf because that would have been difficult. Three, two, one. Go. Uh, this is so difficult. Someone please get this. I don't know. No a single person is gonna get this. That was really difficult. This is a whole video. Hey, let me know if you guys want a whole video of this. So the word was Darth Vader. I don't even know if this is Star Wars or Star Trek. My idea of Darth Vader is Zerg from Toy Story. That's as close as my brain could get there. I'm gonna do one from the other card set. This is very difficult. I don't know though, in 60 seconds. Okay, I'll do my best. Um. Wait, wait, this is my final clue. Wait, am I allowed to do things like this? Okay, comment down below what you think this is. <laughs> this is stressful, but this is also a lot of fun. I don't even have to think about it. To me, this is, I would give this 100 stars if I could. This is such an improvement for Pictionary. Whoever came up with the idea, genius. It was a little bit slow when I was playing with the game, but I think it was because I was screen recording at the same time. Possibly my favorite thing we've tested so far. So this is Amazon's top selling fondue set. And it's really interesting because when I think of a fondue set, I always think of like an electric one connected to electricity and it sort of warms up the chocolate. This one, 
completely different. I think the reason why people like this, it's because this one is a little bit more rustic. So it comes with a little tray. That's pretty good for how much I paid for it. And... Wait a damn minute. Oh, it does come with a candle. So the reason why people love this and why it's kind of different than most fondue sets is because the heat actually comes from a tea candle, which, you know, these are very non-expensive. So that is the only thing that you will need to warm up chocolate. I am surprised with the reviews because while I feel like this is a good idea, that's a big bowl to warm up chocolate like how long is this gonna take that is the only thing that makes me feel like this might not work it's good that it comes with a little forks i guess you could rest them in here as well i don't know if that's gonna work out oh it does work out so you can kind of set it like that okay this is kind of everything for how much i paid for this we're gonna put the tea light in here switch it on i guess Am I crazy for thinking that this is not enough to power this amount of chocolate maybe we could use this for melted cheese as well Okay, it's too late now. I'll post it on TikTok. So I'm using a uh, dark chocolate because dark chocolate is honestly superior with strawberries. I used to be the biggest fan of milk and then I grew up. <laughs> oh, okay. The one thing about this one you use, you can laugh. Once this melts, this is not enough uh, depth to dip the strawberries. So we'd actually need more. Like I'm not making this product fail on purpose. Okay, I feel like this is exactly how much you would need. Maybe even a little bit more. Like, there's still quite a lot of space. Now, the question is, how long is this going to take? Weirdly, <laughs> the bottom is melting already. Am I the drama? I am the drama. I'm coming up with problems where they don't literally don't exist. Also, my therapist to me literally last night. <laughs> We can laugh. The best way to know whether this is effective or not is to give you a time lapse of the chocolate melting and then you can decide whether you think this is an acceptable amount of time or not. For me, an acceptable amount of time would be five minutes. Anything more than that, I will use a squirty chocolate and straight into my mouth and then the strawberries in the other hand and just I love that I have a gadget for literally every possible occasion. Chocolate is really not moving. The candle is gonna run out before the chocolate fully melts. When he's a videographer. <gasps> oh! <laughs> when he's not a videographer. And record. Let's see how long this will take. This is truly- This is my personal definition of watching paint dry. It's been exactly 13 minutes, and I'm not entirely sure if this is... Okay, no. No, that's pretty good. The only bits that are not melted are actually the ones that were on top, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna melt quickly, so... 15 minutes seems like the amount of time they will take. It's not too bad, actually. I will say the whole thing gets really hot, but it's actually not so bad that you can move it around, so... Okay, we're gonna use the sticks because I feel like it's more appropriate. So we're gonna stab one of the strawberries. This is literally... I just hope this doesn't drop in there. Oh my god, that literally it looks like perfect. Like that looks like a TV advert. 15 minutes seems like the right amount of time. Just wanted to make sure that it was fully melted entirely. This is kind of a great product. I forgot there was a metal stick. <laughs> I almost gave myself a wisdom tooth removal. I have a theory that a lot of Amazon reviews are fake. So I would tell you the truth. Like I literally, this is not sponsored. I don't care what you think. In this particular scenario, annoyingly, if I had to rate this product, it would probably be 4.5. It's quick enough that I wouldn't really be able to complain. So according to Amazon reviewers, this is the toy that is giving parents some peace and quiet finally, because this is incredibly widely reviewed kinetic sand and you can make waffles ice cream cones this is not gonna lie as soon as i saw it i knew i was gonna buy it regardless of whether this was gonna make it into the video or not these children also seem happier than i ever knew at their age that it could ever be possible i don't think i have reached this level of happiness still this is way smaller this is n this is not what I was expecting. I don't know why, because the box is small, but I expected this to be a full-size glass, and this is what I got. I've been robbed. 
I'm gonna call 911. This tiny little thing that literally fits in my pocket. This is the North American customer phone line. I will give you a call. Okay, so it comes with little spoons, um, little decorations. So this is our first. I guess we're just gonna scoop it out. <gasps> that smells so good. Can you eat this? If they made this in a scent, I would buy it. Every bottle. The texture of it is interesting. Almost like cookie dough. So I'm gonna put all of that in here. I wonder what happens when you mix the sand. I feel like that's you're not supposed to do that because you would not be able to undo that. Imagine you go out in public just I don't know if you can see, but there's like a print of an ice cream cone on it. Oh, I don't like the smell of this one. This one smells like artificial chocolate scent. I'm trying so hard not to mix the colors, but something in my brain is selling. Mix them up. Just mix them up now. I can't believe this kinetic scent is giving me intrusive thoughts. I honestly can see myself playing with this for hours. I'm not even gonna pretend. This is the strawberry one. I hope it smells as good as the vanilla one. I still think the vanilla one is literally the best smell i've ever smelled in my entire life if you know anyone who has a kinetic scent trust me smell the vanilla one so if you press it this is basically what you get this is the base the foundation to all the things the little things that you can do with it by the way salem was very interested in the smell of this so now he's here so we gotta i'm just gonna leave him in the background man this smells so good it really is kind of impossible not to eat it if it wasn't so powdery that that looks like ice cream. That's literally the texture of ice cream. Wait, I need to give you guys ASMR of pressing into this. Just listen to this ASMR. But look at this. I feel like this is doing things for my anxiety. This is the waffle one, which is honestly the stupidest one. I actually think this one's kind of dumb. This really bothers me, but it only transforms into a waffle on the top bit. The bottom bit is just lying. Interesting choices. I hope this gives some ASMR. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to press this in a little bit more. Please tell me this is gonna be good. Okay, that's pretty good. Can you get it out? Yeah, you can get it out. That's, it's a really interesting texture. It's like slow motion sand. I think there's a word for that. I think if I was a kid, I would rate this as a five star product. I honestly think so because it just seems like the kind of stuff that I would be very much interested in. It seems like there's a lot of possibilities on mixing things up. For that reason, five stars. Why is this product so highly reviewed? Basically because people are saving a lot of money using this gadget. According to a lot of the reviews on Amazon, instead of buying a new knife, people are basically buying this knife sharpener. Like it transforms a regular knife into like a premium one. It's literally called the world's best knife sharpener. You might be wondering what do you need to open the world's best knife sharpener? Well, a knife. <laughs> this is so dumb. Obviously, it's not a very good knife because otherwise I wouldn't have purchased the product. This is like going to therapy and the therapist is like, Actually, you're too toxic. This is a very small gadget. How is this the world's best knife sharpener? This also comes with suction. So this is supposed to, did it come with instructions? Nope. Draw knife this way. Oh, I get it. On top, do you see there's two blades? And I think you're supposed to run the knife in between that. In order to use it, you actually have to use the suction. Oh my God, I could literally lift up this table. Never mind. I might stab myself. Never mind. As an example, we're gonna use a bell pepper because this knife, this is not what it used to be. This was my favorite knife for about a year, and now suddenly it just stopped. I don't know, it just stopped working. If this was truly sharp, it would like cut through. Like I'm putting pressure and it's not going anywhere. So my my goal is to make this so sharp that I literally will put the knife here, make a little bit of pressure, and this will cut. Because look, I am actually making quite a lot of pressure and it's it's, you see how it's going down? Like I'm pressing it down, but it's not actually cutting. So we're gonna use the suction. And it says, draw knife this way. So towards me. I feel like I'm gonna ruin the knife. This suction needs to be a whole lot better. The knife is going like, this is becoming serrated. <laughs> this is low key ruining the knife.
I really thought that was it for my hand. Wow, my heart skipped a beat. My heart was like, remix. One thing they failed to mention is, how do you know it's ready? I don't know why I'm smelling it, like this is gonna tell me, yes, this is ready to receive the blood of your enemies. <gasps> It literally scratched my knife. Do you see that big scratch all the way? Yep, that happened. This better cut through it five centimeters away from the bell pepper. <laughs> this is worse than before. Have I not done it enough? On top, there's literally all these bits of like metal. That's basically part of the knife that came off. I did this as well as I possibly could. I'm gonna wipe off any residual. This feels very sharp now. This is the ultimate test. This works! I'm gonna try it with the same pepper that we tried before, just so you guys know. I'm not bamboozling anyone. If I try to like make it bouncy like before, look what happens. <laughs> it was bouncy for like literally a second. I feel like I could get the thinnest. <laughs> this is like, it's actually see-through. <laughs> look at the thinness of that. The suction on it is a little bit clunky. It's not the best. Does it sharpen a knife? Yes. Do I believe this is the world's best knife sharpener? I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a big claim. There's gotta be like a much more expensive gadget the chefs actually use that is better than this. For me, it's like a three stars. It does the job, so that's the three stars. Everything else about it, like the actual functionality, it doesn't work perfectly. If there's one thing that I've learned about people just from testing things out on my videos is everyone loves gadgets related to cooking eggs in the microwave. People can't get enough of it. This one, we've never tested before, is a microwave silicone omelet maker. At the store, they had so many gadgets about eggs, like ways to cook a boiled egg in the microwave. Healthy, quick, and delicious omelet from microwave to plate in just a few minutes. You essentially make your omelet in this pouch and it is ready in a few minutes. It doesn't specifically say how long, it's on the inside. Recipes are based on a thousand watts microwave, which I do have. I should probably wash this. So the recipes say that it's two eggs for one tablespoon of milk. Maybe it's got something to do with the moisture in the microwave, that's why you need to add milk. I've never bought this before. This is egg white. This makes things quicker because we have a lot of things to do. So this is the equivalent of two eggs, I would say. We should have mixed this in a bowl before adding it. If it works, it will work the same. I'm gonna whisk it just a little bit. Okay, this looks really white because we're obviously using not egg yolks, I guess. Very important, it says that you don't need any kind of oil, anything to make this non-stick. This should be non-stick on its own. This is some vegan sausage, literally leftovers from my fridge. And cheese. How much cheese? A lot. <laughs> I feel like it would probably be fine without mixing it. We're gonna do salt and pepper because I believe this could be nice, like I will actually eat this. With the amount of reviews, most of the reviews are probably right, with a few exceptions. Why can I never work out how the pepper one works? Okay, it's working now. There's probably like a flight attendant watching this video right now and they're like, that's how we make it. That's how we've made it for many years without any Amazon gadgets. I'm only gonna use the plate because obviously I need to transfer this. So I am going to close it. Not the exact same recipes, but the eggs and the milk. It seems right. 30 seconds. Okay, that, this doesn't sound good. So this goes in the microwave for a shockingly small amount of time. One minute, flip, 30 seconds. The eggs are ready. <sighs> I am worried for a few reasons. Number one, obviously, it was too quick. Number two, there's a piece of cheese that was stuck to the actual thing and it's not even melted. So if the cheese didn't melt, how did the eggs cook? Oh, it is hot. <gasps> I honestly don't think this is cooked. This side is really wet. All the sausage is in here. When I did such a good job of distributing it, 
How does that even happen? Oh man, I cannot believe I'm doing this. That's some French tasting. Maybe it was the cheese? This is so good. I'm 100% keeping this one, but I don't think it really works. This makes incredible scrambled eggs. This side is definitely raw. For some reason, one side is cooked. I don't know what happened. I flipped it like they told me. I actually was trying. I think I followed the instructions correctly. I just don't think this will make an omelette in the traditional sense that you're used to. If this was a scrambled eggs cooker, I would give this five stars because it isn't. I mean, I don't even have to ask the audience. I think I know what the audience thinks of the visuals. This is like a three star. The point of this was to make an omelette. Is this an omelette? This is as much of an omelette as I am a content creator. I just want to say a quick hi to the YouTube employee who is reviewing this video. I don't trouble you guys very often, but I just wanted to make it clear that this is a non-alcoholic beverage. How do you know? It says on here, alcohol-free cognac. Do you say cognac or am I stupid? I don't know why I've never heard that word said in real life. Cognac. It's definitely not cognac. That sounds like a juice that's gonna help stimulate your cognitive functions. Well, that's basically what it is. This is a cognac and brandy warmer. Apparently some drinks, like certain alcoholic drinks, you warm them up before you drink them. It could be that maybe if it's warmed up, I don't know, would it convert me? Probably not, let's be honest. It most likely has something to do with the fact that my palate has stopped developing at the age of seven years old, which explains why I don't like alcohol, and my idea of a gourmet dish is chicken tenders. This is a highly reviewed gadget for people who love alcohol beverages. If you got home and you want an alcoholic drink to relax, this is the gadget for you. I think this was a little bit expensive, I'm not even gonna lie. Is there a hair in it? By the end of this video, I'm gonna have a full set wig. You guys probably won't be able to see it, but you just have to believe me, I have no reason to lie to you. It's like a black hair. If they come and do like a police investigation in my house and this belongs to like a dead person, by the way, that's such a good example of how my intrusive thoughts work. This is a thing that I will actually worry about for the next three weeks. Anyways. Oh no, it comes with the spot for the candle, but it doesn't come with the actual tea light. Thankfully, we already have one, so I think it will make this okay. I am a little bit freaked out about warming up glass. You know, glass is not supposed to shatter, but it's one of those things that I, it's counterintuitive. This is the gadget, and then you put it like this. Wait, that doesn't even fit very well. This is so dumb. We're supposed to warm this up? Why do I feel like this is gonna blow up and then I'm gonna have tiny little pieces of glass stuck to my eyeball? Lately, I've been doing such a good job at showing you all my issues. No! Okay, so we're gonna light this up. I don't know why I'm shaking. Wait, isn't alcohol, I mean non-alcohol, and fire like explosive together. Far away from the flame, we're gonna pour our non-alcoholic beverage. I was today years old when I knew that you could have alcohol warm. It doesn't say anything, so I'm gonna guess, how long would this take, like a minute? Oh my God, this is so hot, I'm so scared. It's gonna break. This stresses me out. There's smoke inside. <gasps> it's boiling. Okay, something tells me that's probably sufficient. Oh my God, I feel like a wine taster. I think the color and texture of the wine changed. This is a bit where I touch the glass with my lips and they sizzle like a sirloin steak. It cools down quickly, but I think the drink is still warm. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hate it. I feel like it could be a little bit hotter. I think it might take a little longer than I was expecting. I kind of want to show it to you guys, but I don't know how to bring this closer to the camera without causing a house fire. Because this is truly fascinating. It starts to bubble up, wait. Now that I'm moving it, you can't see anything. Let's see if this is a little bit warmer now. Now I understand why people do this, is because so that it's not too hot. Okay, this side is cool. Oh, this is worse hot. 
I think the gadget works, like this warms up, the glass doesn't break, it's a little bit annoying that it doesn't come with a candle, you'll probably be disappointed when you get home with the box. Flavor wise, you have to ask someone else, ask the tasteless people in your life who drink this. I said what I said, I would say it again. I'm gonna say 4.5 stars just because it doesn't come with a candle. I'm keeping an open mind that this might be everything that people say that it is, but at a first look and just knowing what this does, I don't get it. This has to be fake reviews, that's just my opinion. This is a food steamer, it literally steams vegetables. It takes 60 minutes to steam vegetables. Yes, literally, just cook them with water. I saw how many people swear by this that I thought this has to be... So this is the instructions, it's only one page and trust me, it is enough. Okay, it cooks rice. This does change things. You can make vegetables on a rice cooker, but you can make rice on here. So I'm gonna test this out with steaming vegetables, so I think this is the one we need for... That doesn't fit. Wait, this one fits inside of this one, so this one should probably be in the bottom. Okay, that's the bottom. Oh, and then it gets progressively bigger. If you have a big family, this might be it. That is a reason why people love this, because you could... What am I doing wrong? You could steam a lot of vegetables. Like this doesn't, this is big. This doesn't even look as big on camera. And I think this is the one for rice. So you could still attach. I think this one goes in the bottom actually. I think it goes on top, Never mind. I don't know exactly how much this costs, but it was expensive. But I will say that it makes a lot of volume of food. Oh, so let's say we're gonna put vegetables on here. And by the way, I'm sure there's rules on how to do it. This was a whole bag of vegetables and look at this. It's not even full. Like you could probably do double in one layer alone. I don't love boiled food, but if you're going for boiled food, this is what you want. So he says that if the water runs out, because obviously if the food is finished, it will automatically switch off, which I think is a good feature because if you want to leave this on while you go to work, let's do a few more layers of vegetables because I truly want to see if this actually works. So let's do some on here. Let's see if all the vegetables stay cooked about the same. So this is it. Fresh broccoli will cook in 13 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna plug it in. Let's say 16 minutes. This is a very stressful sound. Dinner is ready. <laughs> Me at the buffet waiting to hit the chocolate fountain. The good news is my pores are now clear. The bad news is my curtains are wet. I feel like the bottom ones are definitely cooked. I want to find out if the top ones is cooked as well. <gasps> that was really hot. Um, you might be thinking 15 minutes is a long time, but actually I was thinking if I was to cook these vegetables in the microwave, it would have taken me maybe around five minutes which is 10 minutes quicker, but if I wanted to cook this insane amount of vegetables, I would have probably have to do it like four times, maybe five times even. So in reality, if the top ones is cooked, we save time. It seems cooked. I don't know how broccoli would look any different if it's cooked, but it seems like it. First of all, I'm probably eating all the chemicals because I didn't wash this. Chemicals aside, is that how they steam vegetables in restaurants? Whenever I steam vegetables at home, they always turn into mush or they're undercooked. This is like that perfect in between where there's still a bite to it. There's literally no seasoning in here and I actually think this is good. That's all you need to know. I would actually give this a 5 star rating because even though it's not for me, it works and I generally think this would make some people's lives easier. If you search kids children DIY, this is the most top rated product on Amazon. It is also the product that I have been dying to try. This just looks like something that I would like. There's stencils, there's painting, there's glitter. It's called glitter tattoos and honestly we're just gonna open it. Don't be stressed if you're watching this video and you like some of these items. I will make a list in the description down below so you can sit and enjoy and then and if you want to buy it after. I love that, that's so organized. This is literally made for me. No extra plastic. If I had to pick the perfect packaging of any item, this is it. This is literally perfect. So this is the glue. I'll read the instructions. Oh my God, even the instructions. <gasps> they have a whole range of DIY projects. 
tie-dye, perfume, bath bombs, t-shirt printing. Give this video a like if you want to see a whole video on these. This will be the best video that I've ever made. I just know me enjoying it and me being annoyed for an hour. Two hours, possibly. This is a lot of products. So this is the stencils. Um, I just want something nice. Each of them is worse. A seahorse, a dolphin. These are very stereotypical. A best friend tattoo, a mermaid, a peace sign. I like this one. There's a frog. This is my favorite one, the stars. And I also like the frog, but I think I like the stars a little bit better. How do we do this? Maybe we do need to read the instructions. Okay. Never mind, we don't need to read the instructions. I'm gonna start by peeling this off. I really hope this works, because this would be fun. So you peel off... No, this is supposed to stay in here. Okay, that kind of worked out. So should we do it on here? If I like it, I'll do one on my face. Compromise. This might not be the best spot, because it's like... It's a little bit curvy, but it'll be fine. I'm gonna finish this looking like I went to fourth grade jail. So we apply the glue, basically, on the stars. You can actually do a really bad job of this. But that's kind of what it looks like once once you apply the glue. We've got the colors and it only comes with two brushes. You kind of have to blend some colors. Glitter is the most dangerous thing in the world because once it's all over your house, it's all over your house forever. I'm trying to do this on camera. This is so difficult. I don't know how people do this. I am basically a beauty YouTuber now, so. You're welcome. But this is impossible to do on camera. Did I do the best job? No. I left two of them empty. This glitter is not very glittery. I've never thought I would say this, but this glitter doesn't glitter enough. I don't know what color this is. I'm gonna use the other one on the smallest star, which is actually not very easy. This glitter also doesn't make too much mess. If you're considering buying this for your child and you're worried about cleaning up, this actually does stick to even the outside. It looks amazing already. I would literally keep it like that. Okay, how long do we have to wait? And by the way, I just realized now, are they ripping off Jojo Siwa? No offense to this child. This is a dollar store Jojo Siwa if I've seen one. Why is this low key the de of Jojo Siwa? Okay, I think it's ready. It feels dry. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna commit to it. Oh my God, please tell me it's worked. I haven't seen it yet. Oh my God, please tell me it worked. This is beautiful. I honestly got goosebumps. Why does this low-key make me want to do this professionally? Honestly, I feel like I would make bank doing this at kids' birthday parties. By the way, don't be surprised if my BB cream just comes off. I mean, there's no other way to do this. I'm gonna need a mirror. I'm like 99% sure that my BB cream is coming off. Do you know when they say don't take her swimming? Well, don't take him swimming. <laughs> This one feels messier than the hand one, so I'm not sure if this is gonna dry. I just gotta carry on for the rest of the video with me with this on my face. <laughs> I have a hairy cheek, so I feel the hair is being pulled out. Okay, first of all, my BB cream didn't come off that bad. Basically nothing. This one is a little bit better, but personally, I like it. This is the yassification of Post Malone. Easily a five-star product. This is really good. Honestly, if I was a kid, I would put this in places that you could only find once I had to have a shower. There's no PG way of describing this item. Basically, an onion condom. It is what it is, they made it. They should have just called it that. I don't think you guys understand. I need to show you this. It's like a stretchy. The whole point of this is whenever you're slicing apples, this one specifically for onions, but they make different sized ones for different vegetables. If you cut an onion in half, that middle bit goes really gross or sometimes, I'm not sure if it's called oxidizing or whatever it is that happens, but it goes kind of dry and dark. But obviously, a mad scientist created an onion condom. Let's be realistic. When you're using an onion, you probably use about half of it each time. So that's exactly how much we're saving. So this is basically it. Let's say you have this amount, so you put it on the little disc, then you grab the little condom and you twist it on top. Oh my God, this looks so weird from the side. It's not as much as a vacuum as I thought. Look at this, all this stuff here. It's quite deep, it's all empty space. I don't know if this is like a gimmicky product. Obviously, you'd only find out really if you buy it and use it for like a week, but I'm assuming that if you used a whole onion, I mean in America, onions are huge, so 
Let's say you had all of this to save. How much can the condom take? Oh my god, someone's gonna once again take this out of context. Oh my god, is the condom gonna break? No, we're gonna impregnate the onion. Not me advertising for contraceptive methods. Doing God's work here. Am I the father? No, this works. I feel like this is truly the limit. This is not bursting. I honestly think you could literally get a the biggest onion you can think of. I think this works regardless. This is a solid 4.5 out of 5. This is a space torch and I'm well aware this is the exact kind of thing that if I saw, if this ever popped up in my Amazon sidebar, immediately purchased. This is a projector inside like a torch. It's like a full-size projector basically. One meter wide just inside this little thing. I really hope this works. Okay, it comes with different lenses. Oh my god, this is really cool. It's kind of like those old like cameras where you'd have to look at the photos like that. Like, wow. This is something that I 100% aware I am the audience for this. I just realized I just blinded myself. We need five minutes. It comes with three little discs and on these little discs, there's little images. I can see like an astronaut on this one. I doubt you'll be able to see the images, but it's a really cool idea. Like, I think this is really fun. I wouldn't even say this is only for children. I think if anyone is into space, this projects a constellation. So this little thing comes down, you put this in. I'm so confused. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can switch between the images. You can only see the colors, but you get the idea. How would we even test this? The problem in here is that it is really, it's too bright in here. We're gonna have to switch the lights off. You literally won't see anything. Hopefully this will help. I didn't think about how difficult this would be in here. Like, how am I gonna show you this? I can just see the constellation here. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, and you can focus as well. Oh, this is really focused now. That is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little bit weak. <gasps> oh my god, that is actually kind of incredible. Maybe I can show it to you guys. I mean, you kind of get the idea. Once you've sharpened it, it's actually quite sharp, the image. Oh, this is difficult with one hand. Obviously, you could make this bigger, but it's kind of difficult to show it to you guys. I mean, I literally can find a spot. This is actually a great background for this. This is amazing. One time I got an extra large Papa John's for $9.99 and I was so sick and my sick looked exactly like this. This is pictures of astronauts. Maybe this one's better to see the quality of the image. A footprint. Wow. This is really cool. Look how it blends with the background. Like, this is kind of cool. I think I would like this if I was a kid. I think even the photos come out in pretty like good high definition. If you like space, if you like, I don't know, NASA related stuff, I think this would be a really cool present to give to someone. For myself, I would rate this a five star. I mean, there's nothing particularly exciting about this. Like the actual technology is not groundbreaking, but I love looking at pretty stuff. I hope you enjoy this. This was a long video. I don't know if this is gonna be long for you. This was long for me to film, however, it was a roller coaster of experiences. If you'd like me to do another one of these, I would love to go back and get more gadgets. I think it's interesting to see what my opinion is, because obviously I am trying to be as unbiased as possible versus what thousands of people have rated a product. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, but only do it if you enjoy my videos. I hope you had fun and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.